The Guangzhou Handicap is race number nine, class two, 1200. We've got Campione at the top of the book. Matthew Poon takes two off from barrier 12. Harmony and Rich has won four at Happy Valley. Majestic star big on the your weather last time. Silver Fig missed the start on the your weather last time. He's got his best form on the your weather. The Rock coming back in trip, never raced over six furlongs before. Buddies makes his debut for Jamie Richards. The hood off, blinkers and tongue tie are on. Astrologer, his win was second up. It was huge and the odds were huge as well. And Ping High Galaxy comes to class two for the first time. So with horses like Buddies in the race, uh, Tom, you'd imagine he will go forward off a good to fast tempo. Yeah, it should be pretty strong that the pace in this race here. Harmony and Rich, he can certainly fly along. Uh, Campione's got barrier number 12. That's far from ideal on the sea course over 1,200 metres. Rewarding together, uh, Paul. He had a tough run last time out, but uh, lands up or ends up landing in what looks to be a pretty good spot. Yeah, he looks uh, he, like he's going to get a nice run along with Pink High Galaxy. Grateful Hearts will get a nice run. I thought just Buddies might do it a bit tough from his wide draw. Uh, keep you warm if he, he pushes on. He's going to get uh, a wide run as well, I think. And we know Silver Fig and The Rock. This is a lot shorter than The Rock's distance, so he'll go back as well. All right, so that much pace in the race that uh, Buddies might be struggling out there three wide with some cover. Seacourse, Tom. Now, we know the C plus three, the inside gates have a great record. Barrier two's an anomaly here. Only seven wins from 86 starters. A lot of placings, uh, though, for uh, that uh, particular uh, gate. And uh, this week, uh, it's Majestic Star who's uh, got uh, barrier number two. But those inside draws are, are crucial, uh, Paul, especially on the sea course over the 1,200 metres. And that's going to make it really tough for horses like Campione, who are going to have to burn early. They are, aren't they? And especially with all that pace underneath them as well. So, uh, look, he's going to do it tough, I think. All right, so there's the C-course stats for the 1,200 metres. Nick Child was out at Sha Ting yesterday morning. Majestic star, massive last time, and his rider again is Harry Bentley. Harry, Majestic star was uh, rather impressive when a last time out, albeit on a different surface and a, at a different track, coming back to the Valley on Sunday. Yeah, that's right. He was uh, mightily impressive on the all-weather last time, and uh, he comes here in, in really good form. Handicap has put him up a, a fair bit. Um, he's gone up £11 for that. Yeah, I mean, he was always going to get uh, punished for, for, for a win like that, but he's a very big horse, and um, I don't see carrying extra weight is going to be too much of a problem for the likes of him. He's in gate number two. Now, I guess on this C course at Happy Valley, that's always a, a bonus as well. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm delighted with the draw I've got. Uh, there looks to be plenty of pace in the race, which is going to help, and uh, should get a nice sit behind the, behind the pace. It's quite possible, Harry, that he could well confirm form with a number of these rivals. I mean, Campione was, was one that obviously disappointed behind him last time out. I mean, he, you look to hold the ace card in this race with this fellow, don't you? Yeah, he does. I mean, Campione is obviously a, uh, a natural contender in the race, but he's got a very wide draw in 12, so it's going to make life difficult for him. Um, but yeah, I, I still think he's got um, room for improvement. This horse, he's, he's doing everything right. Very happy with his track work and um, as I mentioned before, he's coming into the race in, in fine form. Uh, I know you've never ridden him at Happy Valley, but um, is the general feel perhaps from, from his connections that he's a better horse here? I mean, he has won a couple. He has, yeah. I mean, he's a very well-balanced horse and uh, the tight bends certainly don't bother him at all. So uh, yeah, I, I think uh, you know, the track seems to suit him. Harry Bentley there riding at Majestic Star. A few replays to look at here, Paul, and we are going to start with The Rock. Now, this is his win back on the 15th of May. It was over at Sha Tin. There he is in the familiar blue and white colours. Yeah, and uh, he did win this race really nicely at the back end of last season. There was a bit of rain around here as well. We came to the outside, won it well. This was over 1,600 metres, though. He's sort of starting off here at 1,200, so... Look, I'm not going to include him over the shorter trip. No, I haven't got him in. He's drawn barrier number nine. But just sometimes you do see these horses that are in a fresh up condition that like a trip of 14, 16, 1800 metres so come out and perform well fresh. And uh, his trial up at Chungfa, I thought, was uh, handy enough. Uh, won that by two and three quarter lengths. But it's he's facing a, a pretty hot field here. Funny you should mention that trial, Tom, because here it is right now. There he is on the outside. It's interesting to note He's never actually raced over 1,200 metres before. No, first time anywhere for him over the 1,200 metres. He stretched out to really quite well, I thought, over the, the late stages uh, here of this uh, trial uh, down the back straight at uh, Chungfa. But it, it, he was dominant last uh, time out, but that was different to what he strikes here for. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he has won fresh up over 14 in the past, but 14, 1,650, I just think this is a stepping stone for him. All right, so that's up at Chung Fa down the back straight. He gets away to score. It will be Vincent Ho riding for Casper Founds. He has won first up in the past. We move on now to family folks. Paul, there he is in the yellow colours in behind. 
He has raced over the 1,200 metres and especially well over the 1,200 metres at Happy Valley. Yeah, he has. And uh, look, he's a horse that does like the distance. Uh, the, the query with me for him, though, unfortunately, is the draw. He's drawn barrier number 10, so he just might have to work a little bit to get into the right place for him. Yeah, I didn't want to totally rule him out, but I think sort of that draw does rule him out a little bit to hear from this uh, trip of 1,200 metres with a, a wide uh, gate. Did win well, and he, he fought on pretty well in a, a good race here at uh, Shartin behind Fantastic Way. I'm a single man and co. Uh, so he wasn't disgraced there by any stretch. And he will love the surface, which he's best made Antoine Hamlin on board as well. Ping High Galaxy, Tom, is a last start winner. Easy horse to spot. He's the grey there on the inside. He comes up to class two for the first time. Yeah, and he's uh, coming in here with this uh, nice lightweight of 117 pounds and a, a good draw and he went on to win this nicely over seizing the moment. Had to ride for a little bit of luck at uh, one point at uh, Alexi, but uh, looked good in doing so, Paul. He did. He won nicely, didn't he? He's drawn nicely in barrier number three, so look, he's going to go in for me. Uh, Ping High Galaxy, he looks uh, he looked good in winning that. He's been back to the trials too, mm. Paul, and looking right throughout his career, he's a horse that John Size gives plenty of trials to, so he must be a very good doer, and John likes to keep the uh, legs sticking over, and here is the trial down the straight at Shartin. Yeah, I agree with you, and I think the evidence of that is he's actually put on 13 pounds, so he's obviously a good eater, he's done well out of that race, uh, and John's given him this trial in the, in the meantime. He only went up five points for that win, so that's why he comes in at the bottom here at Class 2. And he has been trialling well and uh, racing well, so I think he certainly the, the horse to would definitely include to here, especially with the, the draw he's going to end up with a, a perfect run mark. And there is his uh, report card, Tom. Yep, certainly is. Uh, four wins from his uh, 25 first starts. He's had just the, the two runs this uh, season for that uh, win we saw uh, a moment ago and uh, clearly uh, loves Happy Valley and uh, enjoys the, the 12 or the 1,000 metres, Paul. He does. He, he does well over both, doesn't he? Look, he hasn't put two together in the past. That, that's just a little query, but um, uh, it was a, a strong win from him last time and uh, Alexia bought here. We've got a newcomer to the Jamie Richards stable to look at next and it's a Happy Valley trial for Buddies, a horse that we've seen plenty of times. He's had 40 starts, in fact. Been to Happy Valley a couple of times for races. Paul, he's won over the 1650. You've got him doing some work out there, three wide on the speed map. He is a pace horse, but there is an abundance of pace in this race. Yeah, he normally leads over 1,400 uh, comfortably, but this is 1,200 with a lot of pace underneath him. He's drawn barrier number 11. He's put on 42 pounds. Uh, the blinkers and tongue tie will go on him, so I'm happy to watch. Of course, his last win was in the Group 3 Celebration Cup at the, the beginning of last season, and he has won at Happy Valley in Class 2 company before, but it was over the 1,650 metres, and Barry 11, I think, rules him out. And uh, finally, Tom, here is Astrologer. This is a similar position to where he won second up, although it was a night meeting at triple figure odds. It was a terrific win and he certainly went on with it after that. He did. Uh, he certainly did. He's won now three of his nine starts and he was at the back in this uh, trial and I thought made to good enough ground on the inside and it uh, certainly interests me, Paul, coming back uh, to Happy Valley 1200 metres but the draws are a little iffy, I thought. Yeah, I'll put him in on a minor line astrologer because he is a nice horse. The, the query with me as well is the, just his um, body weight as well. He, he put on a lot of weight before his last run when he ran six and he hasn't lost too much of it. Mm, so I uh, just wonder if he's um, cherry ripe going into this. But look, I've included him because he does run well second up. It's a good field and he's going to get the pace to suit. So yeah. maybe with a swooper, are you or one of those on pace runners? I'm going to go with the rewarding together, actually. I've got him on top. He's got barrier number one. He should get that really nice run just in behind the pace. And the horse is going really well at the moment. A grateful heart, another horse that we know is a Happy Valley specialist. He's drawn well in barrier four, so he should get a nice run as well. And then Astrologer and Ping High Galaxy we talked about. Nine, five, ten and twelve. 9, 12 and 3, my your top three numbers for the, the main event at Happy Valley. Rewarding together. Should get uh, all favours, I think, from Barry number one. He's got a very good second up record. He's won four times second up, placed uh, a few occasions as uh, well. And he's definitely better suited to here to uh, Happy Valley. And uh, with the draw over the 1,200 metres, looks a, a big chance. Lightweight on Ping High Galaxy's back. That's going to be a plus. It was a tough effort from Majestic Star last time out. He's in because he's a course and distance winner and astrologer as well. So 9, 12, 3 and 10.